What is going on people? <clears throat> Welcome to another video, Codename Love One. So, I thought I'd make this video. Thanks to the person in my Telegram group who shared this video. Um, whoever you are, good, good call. So let's get into it. I better, better be quick. I need you to share this video that I'm about to make. Um, this video is for my 80 or so subscribers that was up to <clears throat> 800 at one point, which they've all removed, deleted, banned, censored, shadow banned, silenced, because we're out here speaking the truth. Now, this latest PSYOP, the farmers protesting, right? It absolutely is a PSYOP, a psychological operation. Now, let me break it down for you. If you control the opposition, then you win. Right? So these farmers, just like the truckers and all the other retard QAnon mor morons who, who stormed the Capitol building, these people are being mobilised by change agents change agents who work for the secret services who work for the state who work for the draco scum the archons the demons that is who's in charge here that is who the government is that is what the state is that is what the nation is the country that is what your royal families are demonic satanic Draco, demonic, archon, vampire, empire. Vampires, mate. Blood drinkers. Now, let's get on to this farming crisis. I'll play you this little clip. That whole we are part of nature thing, having mm. food grown in really sterile environments, we need certain bacteria in our system, proper actual sunlight rather than growing in artificial no, light. We very... need to be in nature and experiencing it. This whole sterilised artificialness is not going to do us any good. But you try getting that through to people that are programmed on, we've got to save the planet by growing everything mm. undercover in warehouses yeah. with solar panels on the roof and it all being grown by robots. I mean, I've seen online, I don't know where it was, probably China, where they've got fast warehouses houses and it's robots picking insects off and, and going around and it's just like that's not what they want they want robotic farming and you know this is the future this is the, the chinese model is is their model you know it's, it's like forcing this this awful way of robotic farming digital id surveillance all of that stuff data harvesting all on us you know this is a, this is a part of a much bigger picture and you know we really have to stand up and understand what's happening to us and you did ask me earlier what's what's the difference between the way they're treating europe with farming and the way they're treating us well the thing is that for instance for the farmers in holland it was about the fertilizer stop telling them they couldn't use fertilizer fertilizer which they'd use and i understand that some fertilizers aren't good but they they used that and they did it overnight because it did cause a backlash suddenly the farmers overnight said no we've got to protest about this in england they're doing it incrementally it's over th this three-year period and they know that if the british farmers get up and fight then they've lost it yes. this is why we have to do it but what's very important is the public understand why they're doing it and support them i don't know what they would do in england i can't imagine it would be quite like they have demonstrated in europe but you know, if roads are shut off and it's inconvenient and there's suddenly no food in the supermarkets, that gives people a taster of what it would be like without the farmers not having food in the supermarkets. So getting behind them is obviously very important. You know that farmers are salt of the earth. Busy lives as well. They don't have time to be doing all of this stuff. They wouldn't be kicking off unless it's absolutely vital that they do so. And I know some farmers are concerned about that, that the public opinion, they don't, they don't, no one wants to be a nuisance. No one really wants to complain. But the stakes are so high here. The farming is being destroyed. And it's been destroyed by design in order to bring in this hideous way of living that, you know, and farming that really won't make anybody happy. And all the proceeds will be siphoned off. The people will never see the proceeds of this and neither will the farmers. So if they really want to get on board with proper farming for people, and because otherwise we'll end up with no farms, no food. And that's, and that's exactly a lot more upsetting to the general public yeah. than no you know, farmers, a few no days food. or weeks of protesting. Yeah. And I'm sure most people would, would rather have decent farmers markets and decent farmers shops and cut out these wretched supermarkets. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It needs to be people and planet before profit and politics. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Sandy. Much appreciated. And So I suggest you go and watch this video if you haven't. It's uh, on a channel called Ca Colchester Council Watch and it was uploaded six days ago. We're in February 2024. Now, I'm going to give you the truth. I'm going to give you the solution. The solution first. Right, here is the solution. You need land to grow food. You need to get into permaculture. You need community farming. 
You need private members associations. You need land held in trust. You need to learn common law, trust law, and you need to farm your food yourself for your community. That is how you do it. That is how you beat these reptilian Draco fucking demons who want to uh, destroy everything. Terraform, destroy. So, that's the solution. Run with it, people. Private members associations. Yeah? Clubs. F like, you cannot join. You know, they can't do shit to a PMA. There's so many um, uh, benefits of having these, you know, a, a community farm type thing. Right, so let me just break it down. Once you know what the end game is, the end goal, then it all starts to make sense. Now, let me tell you what these people, these two ladies have missed, is that the farmer psyop is a psyop, mate. Okay, they want food shortages because they want to blame the food shortages on the farmers protesting. So how do we create food shortages? Why will we get the farmers protesting? Oh, well, there's no food. Duh! It's problem, reaction, solution, people. So then when there's food shortages, oh, we've got an idea. We're going to have these huge mega farms, just like in America, right? They're all going to be robots. We're going to grow insects and soybeans is being grown in China, right? So the vegan thing is absolutely being pushed. They want you eating soybeans, now, I've just eaten a soy sausage, and I wasn't eating soy for years, mate. Even I've started eating it. It's everywhere, and it's not good. It's not good, mate. I'm just going to tell you, I don't trust soy. Hundreds and hundreds of miles of farmland in China, just soy and corn. Do you think that's good for the environment, for the, pla for the plain, for, for the earth? No, it's not. It's monoculture. Right, so you want to get into permaculture. Um, what they want to do, and what they're going to try to do, is kill off the farmers, end the farming. The only what, what the only type of farming they want is insect biomass. They want stuff grown under um, hydroponic lights. They want stuff artificially grown in artificial light, artificial. Think of it, synthetic, artificial food, lab-grown meat, all this kind of shit, yeah? Fake foods, Frankenstein farming. That is their goal. So they're going to kill off the farming industry, right? They're going to... Obviously, there's some parts of this which are great. Well, as a vegan, we shouldn't be fucking butchering any animals whatsoever, ever. So they're going to stop the farmers growing growing they're going to stop the farmers having cattle yeah they're going to stop them having sheep pigs they, they're going to stop that well okay so that's a good thing right but what they're going to replace it with is insect farms they're going to make you eat insects they're going to make you eat artificial foods as in artificially grown not under the sunlight not in the earth in big warehouses tended by robots this is a problem, people. This is what they want to implement. Who are they? They are the Draco fucking scum. They treat humanity as slaves. They look at you as cattle. They don't give a fuck what you eat. Right? You're slaves, mate. You're the cattle. The sheeple. The, the useless eaters. They couldn't give a flying fuck about you. Oh, let them eat insects. Let them eat the soybeans. Let them eat. They don't care. They're still. They're still getting their blood, mate. They're. They're still getting their blood. Plenty of humans walking around, right? So, people, share this video, mate. If you know what's coming, you know what they want. Then you realise, well, this is why this is happening. Yeah, the trucker protest. The the farmer protest. You don't think this is grassroots, mate? This, they want them out on the streets. They want them causing chaos. They want people to experience food shortages. They want people to then... It's problem, reaction, solution. So let's bring in the solution. The solution is we've got these massive farms 
uh, growing non-food, basically. The other thing is they're going to turn farmland into solar panels. You know, so they're giving farmers subsidies for, for turning their land for solar panels and wind turbines, right? Re renewable energy, uh, sustainability. It's the globalist agenda, mate. Right? So where's this map? Is it there? There. Here's the map, just Somerset alone. Look at the areas in pink and yellow. Look. Cycling and children going to learn about sustainability. Here's our corporate plan. And it is all about, it's all about renewables. It's about housing. It's about wind farms, photovoltaics. It's about walking and cycling and children going to learn about sustainability, grown-ups learning sustainability. It has got absolutely nothing, nothing. All these budgets are going to all these different things. Nothing about food security. Nothing. No. It's, it's, and your Somerset, yeah, mapping of all their planning, um, how they how they see the future of North Somerset land. So all of the areas in red, yellow and orange, that is all going to be over to renewables, wind farms. And the pink is solar. I mean, it, it's actually all of the agricultural land between now and I think it's 2028, which would be a disaster, you know. It's just criminal covering land like this in wind farms. I'm afraid you can no longer view this map because since Sandy started discussing it in public, they've taken it off their website. So let's swing back to the farmers. No, that, that's by 2038, I think it's correct. 2038. All of that land, this is just Somerset alone, right? All of that land's going to be wind farms, photovoltaic uh, solar panels so you can kiss goodbye to your nice fucking your potatoes and your parsnips mate yeah and your carrots and all the you know the good stuff they want <laughs> they want you in complete control uh they want you relying on their soylent green their fucking insect burgers they want you eating your fake fake vegetables grown in hydroponics you know, artificial. That's where it's headed. So these pro these farmers are fucking clueless, mate. They haven't got a fucking clue what's coming. They're all going to lose their jobs unless they diversify. I heard something right. They got to uh, plant. So 20% of their farm has to now be planted as trees. Okay, well, that all sounds good on the outset, right? Not when you realise what's coming, people. Now, I, I am not supporting these farmers at all. They're scumbags, as far as I can see. They're murdering, blood-drinking, pig-eating scum. They, they pollute the earth. They put up barbed wire fences. They kill wildlife. They shoot. They, they turn the fucking earth into a mud bog. It's disgusting what these farmers do. They're fucking idiots. They're retarded, mate. They're not awake. None of them. They're dumb cunts, mate. They're working for the government. They're, they're, they're bringing in a fucking dystopian, terraformed, draconian fucking world for you. That's what these farmers are doing, yeah? So they're out protesting. Well, little do we know that the, the fucking protesters, the protesting was created by the fucking government. They want you out there. They fucking, everything's pre-planned, mate. All by design. They want you on the, the farmers causing chaos. Obvious. It's so obvious. Why? Because then they want to bring in their fucking wind farms and their bullshit. Farming is going to change over the next 10 years. They want everything in the supermarkets. You know, they want the farmers fucking... This is part one of the video. I might do a part two. But I suggest you, I suggest you share this. When you know what's coming, mate... I would be scared, like, be aware at least. It's pretty fucking scary what they're trying to do, okay? These fucking dumb farmers that are out there protesting are clueless morons. They're going to be out of a job in 10 years, mate, yeah? It's robotic farming, yeah? They're fucked. They're idiots, mate.